All right, so this is a follow-up on the race chip tuning box. Wow, it's unbelievable how much of a difference it made in my car. The good thing about this is that you can change it on the fly. So like I said, you purchase the app and I highly recommend you get the app for this tuning box. Otherwise, you're gonna have to come out, get it, oh, pop your hood, change the settings within your engine bay, get back in your car, it's not that it's, it's obviously, yeah, it's a pain, right? Like most people are just going to keep it in race mode. But I'm saying if you want to see and feel the difference, you can do it in your car. Just download the app. As long as you paid for that app portion of it, and you're good to go. There's no need to pop your hood. Everything's Bluetooth. Um, to do a proper follow-up, I'm going to have to do it in the summertime. I'm spinning like crazy. Uh, yeah, I just can't do a proper follow-up or a proper test. Traction control keeps kicking in. It just spins. It spins like crazy. But you can definitely feel the difference. Off the line, spinning like crazy. Once it hits second gear, it launches. It's unbelievable the amount of power. But when I tune it to the eco mode, the amount of power that I still have in eco mode is phenomenal. It just does that much of a difference. And I'm going to show you the setup. I put everything back together so... I've already showed you in my first video on the tuning box uh, what sensor or what connector connects to, from A to this sensor and B connects to this sensor. But I'll show you how it's all cleaned up now. And I, I wish I could show you the app portion of it. But if you just simply go on Google Play, uh, you go down to uh, Race Chip, and that'll be the app. You can even download it right away, but you will need the code for it in order for you to get to the next screen but just so if you can get an idea or just go online and uh you can even see a race chip their their sites are amazing they they're in depth with everything or all their products so this is how it looks and is how i set it up okay so from my first video or sorry the previous video to this one all this was gone like it was disconnected intake all that stuff so like a the sensor in there there you can see the connectors there so there's your connector b goes to the sensor underneath my intake and connector a which is right there just after uh downstream from the throttle body and i put it right there you know what let me turn on the car and show you what it looks like when it's turned. so there it is as you can see it's on setting seven which is race mode there's the power indicating it's on obviously it's on because it's lit up and there's a symbol for bluetooth highly highly recommend this chip things just i just can't say enough about it like it's just amazing i you know chip work is good but this is in a class of its own so yeah i'm sticking with this and uh i hope this helped you guys out thanks for watching